The wonderful thing about the animal kingdom is that we're still learning to coexist on this marvelous planet, together. And thankfully, being a human, we get to really investigate the breadth of this connection between us and our beloved creature friends. But the truth is, there's so much we don't know. In fact, there are species out there that we have no idea even exist. Can you believe that even though we've been on our planet for approximately 300,000 years and there are still some critters we have never have known, we're aware they exist, but here are 15 wild animals that have rarely been seen. Elephant Shrew Despite the deception in their name, elephant shrews are not actually shrews at all. Recent discoveries have revealed evidence that suggests the adorable creature is closely related to a group of African mammals, including elephants, sea cows, and aardvarks. These animals are scientifically classified in a single family called the Macroscalidia, which includes a whopping 19 different species. These mammals take their name from their long pointed head and very long elephant-like trunk nose. Despite their apparent small size, they come equipped with long legs which help them move in a hopping fashion similar to rabbits. In addition, a unique gland on the underside of the tail produces a potent scent that they use to mark their territories and signal to others. Researchers say this musky smell serves as an effective deterrent against many carnivores that typically consider them prey. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Since ancient times, philosophers and naturalists have puzzled over this rarely seen enigma, the giant squid. There's plenty we still don't know, but we've learned a lot over the years. If there's ever been one captured and kept in captivity that is this big, we don't have that info, but can you imagine being able to get this close to a monster of the deep like this? Scientists recently captured a living giant squid on video, a 10 to 12 foot juvenile in the Gulf of Mexico. It's the first giant squid ever recorded in US waters. We wonder if they could ever capture and successfully transport a giant squid like this into an aquarium. If the Kraken exists, it probably looks a lot like this, and not the mythological invention you see in movies. Giant squids are shy, mysterious creatures that have been the star in more than a few legends of the sea, and that's why scientists are so interested, and we are too. But we do know that these massive squids are reported to measure over 40 feet in total length when fully grown. We're safer behind the glass. How would you handle being in open water with a giant squid like this? Comment below with the hashtag sweet topic when you do. Black Spotted Couscous The fantastic black spotted couscous is a marsupial found only on the northern parts of the island of New Guinea. That wasn't always the case, but their dwindling numbers have left them highly isolated. This dazzling creature's most striking characteristic is its vertically split pupils that help them to roam at night. They come equipped with long, arched claws and an effective grasping tail helpful in the arboreal lifestyle. Researchers say the species has been driven to the brink of extinction thanks to human pressure and the destruction of its natural forest habitat. Some of the largest species of couscous are targeted by poachers and hunters. These are the species only predators and have contributed to a massive decline in their population alone. This human pressure, together with large scale habitat conversion for human agriculture and settlements, has drastically reduced their numbers and wiped out the species for many parts of its former range. Purple Frog There are crazy, uniquely colored frogs that can be found in the western ghats of southern India. While their distribution is limited, there are numerous other reasons it took experts so long to discover the species. These frogs spend most of their lives beneath the ground, only to emerge a mere two weeks every year for mating purposes. These crazy frogs don't even need to come up for food or sustenance. They can live on a diet of food living mainly underground like termites and other insects. They sound as weird as they look. They manage to always keep their bloated figure, cluing in scientists that its purpose is more profound than aesthetics. They have a tiny head compared to their body and have a white snout that sticks out from their face, which helps this frog make unique sounds. These strange creatures are in danger of extinction due to deforestation from coffee, cardamom, and ginger plantations. <laughs> Philippine Eagle As its name suggests, the Philippine Eagle lives only in the Philippines. Though they spend most of their time along the forest edges and have been recently observed in areas where the forest has been destroyed, this species is a true forest predator that relies on pristine forest ecosystems to hunt, 
build its nest, and raise its young. Without only a few such locations remaining, the species has been declining to a highly endangered state. It can be found in the forest as low as sea level and up to 5,900 feet. Most of the lowland habitats have been destroyed, mainly due to logging and forest conversion. Of course, when this happens, the eagles can no longer safely live and build their nest there. They're forced to take to higher altitudes, which proves troublesome for the young. Every year, this impressive eagle has less and less land to make its home. Most of the remaining species have gone to the mountain slopes for housing. Mountains are typically less dangerous for a bird like this because it's more difficult to log or grow crops on a slope than it is in the lowlands, leaving the land relatively untouched. <laughs> Rondo Dwarf Galago The Rondo Dwarf Galago is unique for many reasons, but mainly its bottle brush tail and iconic call. They're endemic to coastal Tanzania and were first observed and documented in 1996. It's listed as one of the world's 25 most endangered primates and is only known to be found in eight small, highly threatened forest patches that spell impending doom. The species is split into two subpopulations that live hundreds of miles apart from one another. They're relatively small compared with other primates, only reaching an average of 132 pounds. It's primarily insectivorous and occupies the forest understory at night but rest in its daytime sleeping nest high in tree canopies. Almost all locations where this species can be found have been subjected to habitat dilapidation from agricultural purposes for humans. Heck, even charcoal manufacture and logging sites were set up. The family of primates represents what researchers call primitive primates, which helps bridge the gap of understanding between closely related non-primates, such as rodents, to higher intelligent primates such as humans and chimpanzees. <laughs> Chinese Giant Salamander The Chinese Giant Salamander is the world's largest amphibian, growing up to 6 feet long. It comes equipped with a powerful tail that comprises nearly 60% of its body length. That's one heck of a lizard. It was first reported in 1983 that a 10-foot, 150-pound salamander was purchased at a local market in China. Still, the species wasn't identified until later. There are only three living species of giant salamander, the Chinese giant salamander, the Japanese giant salamander, and the American hellbender. These amphibians are ancestors that diverged from all other amphibians and estimated 170 million years ago, during the iconic Jurassic period. This makes the giant salamanders one of the most evolutionarily isolated species in the amphibian bracket of life. The Chinese variant is under immense threat of extinction due to habitat loss, severe water pollution, and over-exploitation of wild populations. The amphibian is also considered a food delicacy in China, which only exasperates the problem. You can find ingredients from these salamanders in many modern medicines as well. Consequently, the species has suffered catastrophic population declines and is listed as critically endangered. Some researchers already say it's past the point of no return. It's said that a creature that's adapted to over 170 million years of natural cycles falls victim to human causes. Despite establishing commercial farming of the salamanders across China for the very purposes mentioned earlier, it's expected that the majority of individuals being traded are taken from the wild despite its illegality. However, the Chinese giant salamander is listed on Appendix 1 of sites, which means they're restricted from international trade. <laughs> Chacoan Peccary The Chacoan Peccary is a large, pig-like mammal that many find to be adorable. This unique creature is the largest of the peccary species, from which it's unique in several ways. The Chacoan Peccary exhibits such unique characteristics as three toes on its hind feet whereas other peccaries possess only two toes, a mouth surrounded by white-colored hairs and ears, tail, and snout that measure much longer than any other peccary species. With such unique features, it's easy to separate the species from one another. It was first described in the 1930s based on a fossil. It was later classified as a separate species in 1975, making it one of the most recently discovered large mammal species to date. They can be scattered throughout Central South America from western Paraguay and southeastern Bolivia to northern Argentina. They're endemic to the Rio de la Plata Basin, where they generally range in the flat plains of the Gran Chaco. Their native habitats are semi-arid thorn forests, 
savanna plains, and marshes with an arid climate. Northern Bald Ibis The incredible northern bald ibis is a migratory bird once native to Central Europe until the 17th century. After years upon years of excessive hunting pressure, the bird is now nearly extinct. A European conservation project to bring the fantastic bird back up in numbers has finally begun to achieve its lifelong goals. Though it still stands as one of the most endangered bird species worldwide, humans are putting their best efforts into seeing this species from extinction. At the center of its project is a European collaboration between Austria, Italy, and Germany that aims to reintroduce great numbers throughout all of Europe. The first sign of growth emerged in 2019 when the population rose from 119 birds to 140. That's an 18% growth. <laughs> Kalugo The Kalugo is a marvelous creature with equally as marvelous an ability. Due to their excellence in evasion, little is known about these elusive creatures. Notably, their communication was of extreme interest to scientists. In 2018, they made a marvelous discovery that they can communicate over thousands of miles by the use of ultrasound. They basically have cell phone towers built into their headset to the tune of other Kalugos. The whole thing was discovered by accident and by studying a different creature entirely. A team of researchers was strolling through the woods trying to pick up bat sounds when they discovered a call they had never heard. The two scientists followed the signal eventually happening upon the silent Kalugo. Though scientists knew of Kalugos, they had no idea they held such an ability. The best part? Scientists had been standing right next to the source and had no idea where it was coming from for quite some time. The animal was just hanging out in a tree above and the research team never heard a thing without the instrument. To say the least, the sound was a bit startling to the scientists. Pygmy Jerboa the pygmy jerboa is the world's smallest rodent species with a mere weight of less than an ounce, a body length of 1.7 inches, and a tail length of up to 3 inches. Yeah, its tail is the longest of all features. Also known as the dwarf three-toed jerboa is often described as a child's art project with just a cotton ball for the head and a long string for the tail. When these rodents actually stand up, they appear more like miniature kangaroos with their long hind legs more extended and disproportionately large feet. They're native to Pakistan and Afghanistan. Their habitat includes rolling sand dunes, barren flat gravel, and sandy deserts. Unfortunately, there's not enough evidence to determine how many of these species remain and whether they're endangered or not. For now, they're protected until further evidence can be gathered. At least we still get to stare at these adorable little creatures from the footage already captured. Fearless Giant Otter Otters are some of the most adorable, intelligent, amazing creatures on planet Earth. They're also known to be fearless warriors and protectors of the family. I think it's safe to say it's more than a cuteness overload with these cuddle tanks. The giant African otter is the largest of the species. Wherever their family roams, they're considered the apex predators of their domain. Even deadly snakes like the caiman and anaconda know better than to hassle one of these giant fighters. When other animals know a family of otters has taken over, they stay away. Predators typically leave the otters alone because they know one call from an otter wand, the wrath of the entire family shall descend upon them. Otters eat fish, but if a gator or snake wants to try their luck and attack, they'll have quite a fight on their hands, even if only one squares up against the danger. Likely, however, when one is in danger, the family is in danger, like the mob. Also like the mob, when their family gets attacked, they return the favor in overwhelming force. <coughs> resplendent Quetzal The resplendent Quetzal is arguably one of the most beautiful birds on the planet. Their fierce coloring and delicate features make for a genuinely remarkable observation as to what can come from nature. They're easy to identify by their vibrant plumage and long tail. The birds were so impactful to humans that natives referred to them as the rare jewel birds of the world. That's quite a title when there are so many other gorgeous birds that live on Earth. These birds were considered sacred to the ancient Maya and Aztec peoples, who viewed the Quetzals as the gods of air and a symbol of goodness and light. Ancient Indian cultures called it the most precious. Throughout the ages, humans have always considered this bird to be of rare form. Its common name was derived from Quetzali, meaning precious feather or beautiful. 
After close study, it was classified as closely associated with the Quetzal cult, who was worshipped as the god of creation breather of new life. This god was depicted as a plumed serpent. The Quetzal bird was symbolic of the cloud, while the snake symbolized the wind. Though this legend ties them to serpents, they have no relation. The magic bird was also believed to be the spiritual protector of the living Mayan chiefs, even accompanying them to battle. Some reported these birds died with their chief. Blue-footed booby. These large, iconic birds are located along the eastern Pacific coastline, where they often nest along the rocky shoreline. Their name comes from the Spanish word bobo, meaning clown. One glimpse of them on land and their clownish namesake becomes obvious. They look like fools. The most distinctive characteristic of the blue-footed booby is, if you can't guess it, it's blue feet. Those outrageous, vibrant blue feet aren't just for looks like a pair of clown shoes. Researchers say their feet are an excellent indicator for females choosing males for mating. The brighter and more prominent the feet, the more attractive the bird is to females. Brighter feet often indicate the bird's overall health and condition and that its capability for mating is in tip-top shape. They're looking for an in-shape bird. Females grow larger than males and exhibit nowhere near the level of the flamboyance of the males. Despite their foolish behavior on land, they're nothing short of exquisite when these birds take to the skies. Their flight is majestic to observe and their agility is unmatched. They can slice through the air with razor-like wings, drops, and cuts. Around dawn, they take to the skies in a parade-like fashion in search of schools of fish like anchovies and sardines swimming close to the surface. They're excellent fishermen and forage in massive flocks in the upwards of 200 birds at once. When prey has been spotted, they signal the rest of their flock and the masterful hunters fold back their wings like a transformer and plummet 40 feet deep into the water. A few seconds later, it rockets up and out of the water with its beak open, snatching up as many fish as possible with its vicious serrated beak. Poodle Moth You've probably never heard of the poodle moth, but I'm sure you've seen it a few times. Some facts about this crazy looking creature will both terrify and amaze you. It's been compared to a fluffy dog, a Pokemon, and an anime villain. But the Venezuelan poodle moth has captured the internet's attention. Experts are busy researching away, figuring out exactly where to place this moth within the tree of life. They're having a difficult time associating it with any other creature like it. The first thing to emphasize is this beast is no phony like many of the internet beasts to strike. It's cute furry and somewhat scary. It's totally in line with what's expected for a neotropical moth. Scientists believe this flamboyant insect to be a neotropical relative of the muslin moth, but much more gentle. <coughs> Thai Liger Though ligers may seem like a fantastic creature hybrid idea, it's actually an extremely torturous thing to do to the animal. For those unaware, a liger is a result of breeding a male lion to a tigress. The often mistaken taigon is a result of breeding a male tiger to a lioness. Don't get them mixed, since lions and tigers do not exist in the same ecosystem, the two species mating cannot occur naturally. And if it didn't happen in the wild, then it must have indeed been human involvement. That's so the case with this liger. The inhumane practice of creating hybrid animals is conducted within harsh captivity by disreputable carnies. Their intent is not to care for the animal, but to produce a freak of nature that unaware people will pay top dollar to see. It works primarily the same way as circus and freak shows do, but these are done without the animal's consent or want. These cats almost always suffer from birth defects and die young. The DNA just doesn't work together. Because ligers are usually larger than both parents, the tigress is at a significant risk in carrying and delivering cubs. Tigresses often die in the process. When the public quits paying to see these unfortunate creatures, the horrible parties responsible for breeding them will stop too. It all starts with awareness, and now the truth is out there. These profiteers have been pocketing on the misfortune of animals for years and slipped through loopholes in animal protection laws like the slippery snakes they are. They excuse their behavior by making the case that these animals are not protected by the Endangered Species Act. Whether they're at risk of extinction or just know how to stay off the human radar, the creatures on this list exemplify what it means to live in isolation. Whether that isolation was forced upon them or chosen remains relatively hidden, 
as you might have guessed, rarely seen animals are hardly studied, so many mysteries still surround these magnificent creatures. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.